So, I hope you're all ready for more Fog of War on a boat! Because it's time for fun! And by fun, I mean a chapter known as Bad Game Design Ship. Because, welcome back to more Fire of the Sacred Stones. We're back on Aerofim's Path. He's level 18. Unfortunately, this is a Fire Emblem game, so we're not going to be able to reclass in like 30 years. Unfortunately. So, yeah. We have two chapters to do, and we're going to start off by doing chapter 11. So let's do it. General Ducell tells them of the enigmatic Darkstone, the product of Grotto's research into the Dark Arts. The Dark Stone possesses power far beyond that of the Sacred Stones. According to the rumor swirling about, Vigard's descent into madness coincides with the creation of the Dark Stone. Arifin must confirm the existence of the Dark Stone. He decides to travel the grotto by sea. Midway through their passage harbor, an eerie fog begins to form. God, don't remind me of the boats. The goddamn boat who killed Cormag and lost me my lazy wet! But it was time for the Phantom Ship! We were actually informed that the Phantom Ship was a thing during Erica's path, but now we get to experience. Oh, hi, Grotto Keep again. Your Majesty, I have returned. Selena, you coward! Why did you not execute Ducell? Forgive me. It was that Valter. Selina, Dussel has betrayed us. He has bent his knee to Erephim. Are you a traitor too? Never. I am your majesty's vassal. I am yours, body and soul. Your majesty, please, another chance, I beg you. Any order you see fit to issue, I will complete. Selina, I have something for you. If I may, father. Yes. What is it, Prince Leon? I want you to go to Zavol Marsh and retrieve something for me. It is a dragonstone. A very special kind of rock. A dragonstone? That's right. It's very rare. There are only two in the entire world. Oh my god, my eye. I'm sorry. I've heard rumors of a collector there who has one for sale. It looks like nothing but a common gemstone. I need it for my research. If I have that stone, my... Ugh. What? What? My prince, are you alright? I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Now, please, find me the dragon stone. Will you approve my request, father? Yes. Do as my son asks. Yes. Understood. Your majesty, I would like to renew my oath of service to you here today. I pledge that I shall never again fulfill my duty to you or to Grotto. I beg your leave, my lord. Oh boy. Is this the first time you've seen the ocean mire? Yes. It's so blue, so vast. It is at that. You know, this is my first passage on a ship. I've never appreciated just how enormous the sea is. Really? I'd never have guessed you hadn't sailed before. You seem so calm. If I'm to lead us, I can't allow any weakness to show through. I must appear competent and capable at all times, you understand. Erifim, um... Prince Erifim! Excuse me, Meyer, we'll have to continue this later. Uh, alright. Oh, that's Seth. What is it, Seth? There's a ship following us, just on the edge of the fog. Should I ready the company for battle? Is it a grotto vessel? It's hard to say. The fog makes it difficult to see clearly. However, her crew seems not to be human. Oh no. <laughs> Rise and rage, my precious children of darkness! Ruin the wood and ride the sea! Drown your foes and devour their flesh! Come celebrate the glorious rebuff of your lord and master, the Demon King! Will that fucking happen? That's it? That's all we get? Alright, how many years do I get? Uh, well, obviously, I am taking Ducell. 
because we don't really have many more units to work with right now. So, yeah, we're taking Colm, we're taking Seth, taking all the guys we have. Like, it all goes well. I can reclass Joshua very soon. And I might be reclassing Natasha soon, too. Depending on how much experience she gets this chapter. And Erifim, I'm gonna give you a javel. My last javelin. Because I lost one of them when Cormac died, unfortunately. I really need money for lances and stuff, though. I'm really hurting for those. Swords, too. Swords are a problem right now. Like, what do I have for swords? I mean, I have this, but we, we need that for later. Like, really, I'm hurting badly for weapons. I kind of need stuff, but... We're going to have to roll with it and see what we can do. So, yeah, as you can probably tell, we can't see any of the enemies yet. In fact, we can't do anything about the enemies yet, because they haven't even appeared. The enemies appear on turn two. So, because there's not much else I want to do here, let's save the game and get this show on the road. So we're just gonna set up and get ready for the wait. Where's do so? Oh, he's right over here. And get ready for the onslaught. So I'm gonna have all my frontliners kind of just like take position so that way we can just charge the ship because there are recruits in this chapter and I do need to be careful about bows so Natasha use that old torch staff oh there's a gargoyle okay well the enemies are here never mind we just couldn't see them oh shit there are eye guys over there Oh, and they're just... Okay. There! The enemy is closing! Prepare for battle! Oh my goodness! That's a lot of guys! Oh, and look at all the archers. Yeah, that's cute. Uh-huh. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this! Look at all the dudes! That's a lot of dudes! Wait. Oh, there's a big EXP guy over there, too. Alright, well, I need to worry about this eye guy before he does anything bad to my unit. Do I not have any javelins whatsoever? Uh, Dusel, can you... I mean, yes, you can. Uh, Seth doesn't have a javelin. This guy can easily just now come over here and murder the hell out of Natasha. Yeah, we are in a very, very dicey position right now because these guys are in, like, the worst possible starting spots. I mean, Tana, you can probably off one of them, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. Nice mess. Hey, he's dead. Alright, I think I'm gonna move Natasha. Wait, okay. Yeah, that's fine. I can move her, like, right over here, like this. And then hopefully that eye guy does not do anything terrible to me. Because otherwise, I can't really do anything right now. I have to hold my position. Uh oh. Wait, what do you have? Oh god, the sword. Okay. That did nothing. I don't double him because, of course, Ford! Please! Alright, Joshua. Oh my god, they're landing everything. Well, at least Joshua doubles. That's fine. Oh, you're going for Gilliam! There's still a second eye guy, too. Oh boy! They've pulled us alongside us! The creature's trying to board! That's fine. It'll bring them within reach of my lance. Push them back! Board their ship and seize the blasted thing! Oh, and more eye guys just spawned in. That's great. Yeah, that's fucking fantastic. Alright, Tucel. Oh, you're still in, like, the world! 
world's worst prison- Wait, can I just hand axe you a death? Yes. Never mind, we're fine! Alright, so here's how we're gonna do this. We're gonna have Ducell and- Gilliam, can you- No, we can't. Okay, so I have an idea. We're gonna have Ducell and Gilliam sit here like this. And just straight up block the path. You're gonna kill this guy with the Lance Reaver. Oh, I can crit with the Lance Reaver, but I can't crit with anything else! Okay! Alright. And then we can have... Oh, wait! I don't have any javelins! <laughs> oh my god, I hate this already. Well, at least we have Aerophim sit right here. Oh, you're blocking the thing! That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work either. Uh, well, shit. You know, this would be a good time to have javelins, but guess what I don't have? Oh, wait! Tana has javelins! Good work, Tana. Alright, there are a bunch of Lance guys over here. So, Seth, you just... You do your thing, boyo. Oh, there's more of them. And Natasha, you hang out over here and heal up Joshua. I need to be careful because there are eye guys ready to like murder me. And Colm, you can go that way. I need to be ready for that approach. And meanwhile, literally, Ducell and Gilliam are just gonna brick wall all these guys. I like the Great Knight sprite, it looks pretty cool. Like, literally, they're all just gonna suicide themselves onto Ducell. Which is the world's worst decision. Because he can tank hits as long as it's not magic. And, well, Seth is Seth. So, yeah. Wow! Okay! I know it's a dice roll, but Jesus Christ, dude. We just need to push through these guys. Okay, going for Gilliam. That's a good idea to keep Gilliam for this one. Cause honestly, in Ericus Path, I've already dumped Gilliam. He's he's just he's straggling hardcore. Okay, we're gonna be here for a little bit. There's a lot of guys. Wait, twice in a row? I swear, if that was me, I would have missed both of those 50% hits. Thank you, Seth. Get rid of them. This is gonna drain my resources, though. Cause like I said, I'm low on lances, and I really need those. But I don't have the money to buy more lances. Well, at least Gilliam got a level. Okay, that's fine. More strength is always nice. And I am lance broke! Oh god, here come the skeleton guys with their freaking... Steel lances. I mean, they're nothing but weak ass skeleton guys, so they're fine. And once the archers are dead, I can send in Tana. Oh my god. This is just. <laughs> We're gonna be here a while! There's a lot of dudes that are just trying to attack all at once. Okay. Oh my god, there's a sword guy too! It's not even Oh, we don't double him. Oh well. I was about to say, is that it? But no, there's still more. Okay. Alright, how many archers are there? Three. Javelin! Wow, okay. Oh. Oh! Oh! 
yeah, yeah, that's what I want to see. More guys. All right, Dussel, I need you to erase an archer for me. Can you one shot him? Okay, well you have to kill him to it. You just need to not mess. Good. Now I just need to worry about the last two. Oh, hi, more guys. Alright, Ross. Just come on over here and obliterate him. Good! And Arafim can kill either one of these archers. Honestly, I'm gonna kill this one, and then, wait, Tana can't reach the other one. Actually, never mind. Wait, there's two? There's two big EXP guys! And a white with a javelin! These enemies just love fucking javelins, don't they? Oh, I double him. He's dead. Gilliam kind of needs a heal, but, you know. I don't have a physique staff, and I don't think we've had access to one at all. Alright. Arafim, you know what to do. Erase him. Good! Now I don't need to worry about archers, because I can just have Tana kill the last one. Alright. What's... Wait, support? With who? With Ross? Who is this? Oh, it's Amelia! You know, before I do that... I'm gonna kill him. Look at that 11% crit chance that I'm not getting at all, because of course not. Alright, good. And now, Seth, you erase this guy. So that way we can just start making our way inside. Because I don't want to get experience on all the boys. Like, Ford. Ford really needs levels. Like, badly. I'm going to put him over here. Wait, I can support with Arafim, but I'm not going to do it. Alright, Colm, you sit over here with Tana. Joshua, get in there and earn your keep, boyo. And Natasha. I'm gonna keep Amelia with Natasha. No, we'll just torch up here just to be safe. Just in case. Okay, the one eye guy is still all the way up there, so I'm hoping none of them come any closer. Oh, there's two over there! Wait, what? Steel sword? Why? Why? Just why? Oh, that's why. Well, shit. Okay, big boy. Good. That's a solid kill for Tana. Or someone I want to get experience on. Alright, you're dead. You're, you literally just sealed your fate. We really landed a 40? Get rid of him. Thank you. Oh, and they stole the gargoyle, too! Okay, you you don't even stand a chance. Why are you even trying? Like, why are you even trying to attack Gilliam? You, too! Why are you trying to attack Gilliam when you do no damage? I mean, I know you're just wasting my lance uses. Oh. Oh. Oh, you want to trip on the SS Ducel? Okay. Bye. Mmm, look at that big experience from my boy Ducel. And this guy, too, also wants to trip on the SS Ducel. Okay. 
We erased them all just the same. We erased them all just the same over here. All right, gargoyle. Oh, two gargoyles. And javelin. Really? <laughs> oh my god! Yo, honestly, at this point, I'm not even surprised you're landing these. What? Another ship? Stay calm, everyone! We take the fight to them! Oh, look, it's little Rachel! Friends of justice, allies of righteousness and order, know that I, La Rachel, have arrived! Now, I shall purge the seas of this vile vessel of villainy! Grahaha! <laughs> nice alliteration, Princess La Rachel! Hmm? I know you have an axe odd next voice! How very odd! Dolza, where's your knock off to this time? Hmm, he was with us meal at mealtime before we boarded, but... That man could be such a distraction. Oh well, never mind. Let's get started destroying these agents of chaos. Go ha ha! Leave it to me! Oh, come! There's more of them! <laughs> what the hell, dude? Oh my god, I can't even reach you because I'm being blocked by this white. Sal, I need you to kill this white for me! Erased! <laughs> Alright, now we- I still can't reach her. <laughs> Javelin this guy into oblivion, please, Arifin. Really?! We're going to have one of these chapters, I see! Oh my goodness. Okay, Cole needs a heal. So, Natasha, you know what to do. Give him the old heal. Hmm. Alright. And that eye guy has made no moves to attack me yet. But that gargoyle can be... Ugh. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Ford, I need you to do some work for me. There you go, boyo. Alright, that's one last guy. So, can I kill you with Ross, or... Oh, no, I can't. Amelia doesn't have a javelin, though. You're blocking me! Because Joshua can kill this gargoyle, no problem. What do you have, steel sword? I really want to give Tana this experience, but... I'm going to give the EXP to someone else. I STILL DON'T KILL YOU, THOUGH! Dude, I'd need, like, a steel lance to kill him! Oh wait, I have an idea, Gilliam. You can hit him. Tana can finish him off. Or I can have Ross finish him off. You're gonna probably hit me. Yeah, of course. Amelia can kill you, and then Ross can go in for the kill on this gargoyle. Or I can just hand axe him like this. That works too. That works too. I was... I wanted Ross to get the big EXP, but unfortunately, that just didn't work out. And now you die! Wow, even Amelia's getting more levels than Ford. Damn it, Amelia! <laughs> Alright. I want Joshua to get the big experience, but... I don't kill you. Wait, I kill you. They are landing literally every attack right now, I swear. This is just getting annoying. Oh, wait. Oh, I did a dumb. I did a dumb. I did a dumb because I don't have a throwable sword and I don't have a javelin either. Ah. 
Oh well. Looks like I'm not getting the big EXP on Joshua. Unless this Entomb decides to literally attack Joshua, in which I'd be totally fine with that. Don't attack Tana, please. Or Arifim. Okay, Skeleton Guy. You literally just sealed your fate. Oh my. Tana. Calm your sense, girl. Please, please. Uh oh. ARE YOU SERIOUS, DUDE?! WHAT IS WITH THESE HIT RATES?! Oh, and there's a gargoyle. Oh, and there's another gargoyle! STOP PLANNING ATTACKS! <laughs> PLEASE! Uh oh, there's another- Oh wait, never mind, you're attacking Dolza. You're dead. Bye! Erased! Oh no, there's another one! Oh no, there's two more! AND THERE'S AN EYE GUY! <laughs> WHAT IS THIS?! THIS IS A MESS! Oh no! OH NO! NO, STOP! How many more are there? Oh no, they keep coming! Okay, Dolza is just erasing things. Okay, wait, I'm. Could you stop spawning already? Oh my gosh. Joshua, kill him, please. Get rid of him. Send him to the Shadow Realm. Get all that EXP. You know what? Just use Killing Edge. I don't even care anymore. Okay. Joshua, I swear to God. Do any of you have javelins? No. No. Okay. Then the only thing to worry about are these eye guys. Because they can attack Natasha and they will probably kill her. So let's torch staff it up a little bit. Okay, that is a fine level. Uh, is there anyone down here? No. Alright, so we have two eye guys to worry about now. I mean, I can one-shot them. Like that. I, but I don't have enough javelins. And there's these guys over here with their god dang bullshit! Alright, Arifim... We need Lil Rachel. Let's talk to her. You are? Fret not, oh weary traveler, for I am here to save you! I grant you the favor of my divine aid! Who are you? What are you doing here? Ah, can it be? Do you not know the tales of my deeds? Oh my gosh, she's so weird! Have you not heard of the beauteous young woman traveling to defeat evil? No, I haven't. Oh. What is it? It's nothing. Please pay me no mind. I just feel a little bit alone. A bit like... Feel a bit like being alone and weeping for a while! Oh my gosh! What? No, you can't. This is no place for crying. I'm sure you've noticed, but we're under attack by monsters. If you could do anything to help, we would appreciate it. That's a good idea. I'll do it. Now, I want you to observe closely my graceful actions. Oh my god. Why are you so weird? Please tell me there are no dudes coming up from behind me. Because then the Rachel's dead. Oh, and Dolza. Dolza? Yes, what is it, Princess the Rachel? We're going to be working together with those people. I want you to stay close by. Are you ready? Gwahaha! <laughs> ready as always! Alright. Alright, I have Kanto. Yeah. Because... You have a white jam and a men's staff! That is like the two best things I could ever ask for. Oh no. Oh no, there's a dude over here. I'm gonna rescue the Rachel so she doesn't die. Because I know there's a dude literally right- Oh my god! Do- Do who has a heal? You have a heal? You have a heal? You don't? 
You do. You don't. Oh boy. Seth does. Tana needs a heal, though. And I need to guard the heck out of Natasha so she doesn't get murdered. Okay, yeah, she's fine now. I just need to worry about the gargoyles. And the eye guys who are fast approaching me. There's also the boss! And I don't know where the hell he is! Wow, you literally live on one. You literally live on one. Fuck yourself, guy. Uh, okay. You kill. Go for it. Good. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. They're not landing every freaking hit now. Alright, do so. Come over here and help out. Tana really needs a heal, though. Ford, you're just gonna sit there with this lance. You're not gonna do anything. Hey, oh my god, he is! If I don't do anything, he's gonna do something hasty. I have to move Tana into a place where she can protect Natasha and heal up at the same time. So we're gonna move her over here. And then we're just gonna take your vulnerabilities and use one. Alright, you have Kanto because, yeah, I have flyers. Alright, Seth! Seth the fuck out of one of these guys, please. Get rid of him. Send him to hell. Could you please stop landing attacks? Like, for the love of God. Alright. Oh, and then there's still Gilliam. It's a good thing units start off- They're units that start vulnerabilities, otherwise I'd probably be screwed! Okay, going for Tana. You're dead. Okay, one last skeleton guy to worry about! A level for Tana, too! Okay, where are we getting? More skill. Okay, fine then. I guess. You're going for Seth, so you basically just screwed yourself. Okay, Seth's health's getting a little low. I'm not a fan of that. Okay. Please tell me the worst of it's almost over. Oh, but of course it's not. OH NO! Oh sh- hi. Okay good, he actually missed one for once. Uh oh. Okay, you only do three. Wow, I'm impressed that he doesn't double. ONE?! Oh, there's more of them! Oh my good- OH HI! HERE'S THE BOSS! Well, that's where he was hiding! It was right there with a the short spear! Uh, I can't reach him, and he can very much reach most of my units, like, right away. So, Seth, you get back and you heal yourself so you don't die. Okay. Okay. I know how to defuse this situation. I know how to defuse this situation. I am totally prepared here. Don't hit me. Good. Bye. Good! Alright, Calm! What are you getting? Oh boy! Oh boy! Is your speed capped? Oh my god, it is. <laughs> okay. Ross, you know what to do. Axe this guy. Yeah. Axe him good and hard. 
Okay, yeah, that's good. I want some more speed, but, you know, that works too. Alright, Joshua. Oh, I need someone to guard you, so you go right there. And Natasha can take advantage of this moment and heal. Alright, Joshua, get in position. You're gonna be dealing with the the boss. You just need to dodge attacks from two eye guys, so yeah, no pressure. No pressure. Oh, and speaking of eye guys, Ducel, Arafim, you know what to do. Get into a racer mode. That's one! Oh, come on! And stab him in the eye. Or the tentacles, whatever, whatever works, whatever floats your boat. Alright, and then we can drop off the Rachel. She's still only level 3, but you know, that white gem is a very nice item to have. Alright, how many more eye guys are there? There's the two up there, the two over here at the boss. And which these guys are literally about to assault me immediately. Good. Okay, this is fine. Because Colm can kill one, and I can kill the other one. With Ross. And then here come the others. Wait, really? Nice. Wait, is that all the guys left? If I can kill you right now, that would be fantastic. I only do seven! <laughs> How much defense do you have? Oh! Okay, that actually explains a lot. Okay, well then, that changes everything. Ross, can you, you know, come over here and help out a little bit? Can How much do you do? Dirt! Oh! He doubles you! No! No, no, no! This is why we need speed, Ross! This is why we need speed! So you don't die! Alright, Tana, how much do you do? Twelve. He fucking hurts, though. Don't I have a killer lance? On Arafim, yeah. Uh, Seth, get back over here. I'm gonna have the Rachel heal you. Because she has a men's staff. Alright, we're gonna try our chances with the Killer Lance, and hopefully it all goes well. Wait, how much health does Arafim have? 23. Okay, so if all goes well, we should be fine. Oh, we can support with Tana. We'll do that in a second. I wanna give her this Killer Lance first. Alright, let's do this part. Arafim, do you remember when we first met? Ah, of course, it was at Castle Fraley, wasn't it? Erica and I have been invited to visit for your birthday celebration. Oh, I'm so glad you remembered. King Hayden seemed so delighted that we'd come to visit. I think that was the first time I met Innis, too. So, Erifim, what did you think of the dress I was wearing? I... Huh. I'm sorry, but I don't think I got a good look at it at the time. Perhaps you don't remember, but as soon as I arrived, Innis challenged me. We ended up having an archery match right when the party began. Oh my god, these two idiots. I think Innis won that match. Do you remember my hair? I was so happy with it. Your hair? Uh, well, right after our archery match, Innis challenged me to the- <laughs> Oh my god, stop making excuses! You stupid fool! I think I won that match. I bet you don't even remember what I said afterward. <laughs> uh, Innis can be persistent. After Spears, we moved on to jousting. I hardly believe this actually happened! That time, I think it was... Oh, you? You only remember what happened to my brother! You don't care about me at all, do you? Oh, no, no, that's not true, it's just... Fine! Why should I even care about you when you can't even bother to care about me? You just keep having fun with my brother and don't pay me any mind at all! Tana, wait a minute! Hey, don't go off on your own! What is she so upset about? Arafim, you fool. You don't understand women at all. But then again, I'm one to talk, I hardly understand women either. I mean, what? 
So let's see how the- Oh my god, I owe double! If I crit, then that's ridiculously amazing. Like, if I crit, that is like the best possible result. But knowing my track record, I will not crit this guy! I'm just gonna go for the Iron Lance to see how this goes. Okay. Good, he missed me. Yeah, that does nothing. Can't wait to get an Elysium whip in like the eventual 30 million year future when I finally manage to find one. I mean, Dolza pretty much just erases you. Like, seriously, he kills you. Oh my god, he doesn't kill you, and you double! <sighs> what is this battle ox even? Aha! Uh -huh. That would explain a lot! 15 weight! You have 9 speed! How much does he have? 14! It's no wonder he doubles you! Oh, and yeah, it, I have to kill you this turn or else someone's dying. I mean, I only do 7, and this only does 4 with like the 0% chance to crit. And I still have to worry about the two I guys over here to worry about, too. So I have to kill them this turn or else someone's gonna die. And that someone is definitely gonna be... Natasha. Oh, this is why I need javelins, dude. Oh, and Giselle's all the way over there. Welp, I've literally put myself in a bad spot here. Ross gets doubled too, and then he dies because of course. Wait, he lives. A if I had one HP more, Ross wouldn't die. But I start to kill you two eye guys. Can I one shot you? I double the eye guy. Okay, go for it. Of course he hits me, but, you know, he's dead, so it doesn't matter that much. Oh my god, Gilliam, you're so close to another level. What level are you? 13? Okay. Calm can kill you, no questions asked. And if all else fails, I can literally just pass off a weapon from... Ross to Dolza? So we can have Natasha come over here and heal. So that way Ross can theoretically survive a turn. Alright, so Ross, let's see how you fare. You 13, he can't kill you now. Okay. Good. Good? He missed both! Of course he does! Alright, the 12 HP left. Can you do it now, Joshua? No! You why you not double? What's the weight on this weapon? You have 60 Oh yeah, that's that explains a lot. Alright, Dolza, can you just like send this guy to the Shadow Realm? Yes. There you go! Problem solved! Sent him to the Shadow Realm. Alright, boys, let's clean up! We're done here. Well, that was a crisis averted! Oh my gosh, you're gonna hit me. Wow, surprisingly not. Get out of here. Goddamn eye guys, dude! And this is the last one, so let's killing edge him for the sake of killing edging him! And I won't crit him with either of these attacks, because of course I won't. Oh, why does it go to credit with a single attack? Wow, that was great! Well, at least no one died! That's all I care about! No one died! We destroyed the remaining monsters. The ship appears to be empty. And once again, the forces of righteousness prevail. Thank you. We owe our victory to you. Don't mention it. 
My name is Rachel. I'm on a never-ending quest to defeat evil in the name of virtue and order. Wait, your face has a certain familiarity. I recently met a young woman who greatly resembles you. Do you mean Erica? She's my sister. Erica? Isn't that the name of the Princess of Renias? And you have a very regal air about you yourself, don't you? My name is Arifin, Prince of Renias. We're fighting to end Grotto's invasion. To be honest. And he told her the whole story. Oh my! In that case, I must accompany you! Do you understand that we alone are facing the, all the armies of Grotto? We face untold numbers, and our odds of success are embarrassingly small, considering that I'm the one up, uh, under the one in the helm. You clearly do not know who I am. Do not be sorry about what I'm about to disclose to you. I am the Princess of Rostin, theocracy of the righteous. You're the Princess of Rostin? Hmm, you certainly don't have the bearing of a commoner, but... Ah, of course. My natural nobility gives me away every time. Truth be told, dire circumstances led me to begin this journey in secret. Prince Arifin for nice, please be assured that Rostin is your ally. Let us stand together against the villainous Grotto Empire. Well, that's that, Dolza. We will now be traveling with Arifin and his companions. Gwahaha! <laughs> Understood! For you, Princess Lomito, I would dive headlong into a sea of evil. Why, I'd even tie myself up with ropes and chains for- Whoa, dude, I didn't think you were into that. Such fabulous devotion! You are truly my most loyal attendant. Let us be off, then. Gwahaha! <laughs> oh my gosh, these two are a couple of clowns. <laughs> like, seriously. And Lil Rachel especially. But anyway, up next is Chapter 12. But we'll be doing that in a separate part. Fortunately, no deaths. <sighs> I hate Fog of War chapters so fucking much. I'll see you next time for chapter 12.